<laughs> Let me try this again. Hello, welcome to this video. I hope you are having a fabulous Friday or uh, whatever day of the week it is for you. I decided it's the perfect day to paint a jellyfish. I'm thinking maybe kind of in the purple and blue colors because I just kind of think those are very beautiful. I'm the kind of person that actually needs to watch a tutorial on painting, but hey, I love painting and that's all I say that qualifies you. If you really want to do art, you just gotta love it and do it. So I'm gonna head to Michael's and see if I can find some little like clear bead things that looks like sparkles on the water because I just want to make this a little bit 3D. I'm gonna head out there now, so let's go. Oh my, it is so beautiful outside. Always wear your seatbelt. It will save your life and it's the cool thing to do, so buckle up before you try. So we uh, finally made it here. I absolutely love this store. If you ever don't have ideas, just walk into this store. You'll have like so many ideas. It's just hard not to buy the whole store. Let's go see what there is. I absolutely love this place down here. Check out those hair things. So pretty. Basically, I would wear, I'd wear one of these this to school. I mean, you don't have to be like, getting married to wear something fabulous in your hair. So. Yes, but. I already have kind of um, a big collection, so. Let me that back up. This is like my absolute favorite aisle in the, the store. Look at all these paint colors. Ooh, here's the watercolor. Super, super pretty. These are, these are acrylic. Um, yeah, enough random wandering around the store. So, I just found, check out these little fabulous things. They are like crushed glass, actually. I might actually do these. There's also, there's different colors, like purple and blue, then kind of a yellow glass, and then a more of a white kind of one. So, I don't know. We'll try that. I'll go look at the beads, but I think I'm going to pick these up. Okay, and we are back with the Queen of since I think about it now, I probably should have gotten the more bluish white colored ones, but we're just gonna do these ones. <laughs> Ooh, oh, these are so pretty. Wow, this is hard videoing with one hand. Ah, I'm gonna have to get my tripod. Okay. I absolutely love glass. I think that's gonna look really cool. It's gonna, ow. Oh, that's a little bit pokey. Okay, gotta be careful with that. Okay, so my plan is to figure out what size uh, paper I'm gonna use. My biggest paper size because these are fairly big and I don't want them to dwarf it. I'm gonna first, um, I'm having a very hard time explaining this. I see it in my head, but to explain it's another thing. I'm gonna paint it on another piece of paper, then I'm gonna cut that out, paste it together, add these fabulous little, these fabulous little things. I actually went to the Monterey Bay Aquarium about a year ago now and took some pictures of some jellyfish, so I think I'm just gonna pull those up on my phone try to find one or maybe two and then I'll just kind of like put them together and so I have something to draw while I'm like shaking the table. <laughs> okay, so I found a picture. Let's start to draw. This is always my least fun part of making things is uh, the drawing part. It doesn't really matter where I draw it on right now because I'm gonna be cutting it out anyways. I'm definitely gonna have to time lapse this because it's gonna take a while and I don't even know if you can see the line I'm drawing. Okay, so I understand we kind of have a problem here. As I draw, it just doesn't show up on the camera. I'm just gonna go ahead and just kind of finish drawing these out. And then when I paint, hopefully the color's gonna show up better. So now I'm gonna start painting. Let me catch that from yesterday. I just pushed the red button. Yeah, time for the fun part now. At the beginning I said I, th I thought I was gonna do like blue and purple, but I'm just gonna do what kind of the picture I'm going off of. And they're more like a, a reddish orange color. What I always like to use is paper plates to put my paint on. I'm just gonna, no. Okay, we're good. We're gonna do some red, some orange. Actually, yeah, we're gonna do this orange. Is there a scissor back there somewhere? Oh, can you give me those scissors over there? Oh, yeah. On the, um. Thank you. Gotta open up this paint. Ah, it's just all coming out. This is like a magenta color. My favorite, uh-oh, where did the sun go? It just left. Okay. 
Oh no, I'm gonna need, oh no. Sometimes you need to use pliers to open up paint. It's surprising, but you actually don't need much paint with watercolor at least, it goes a long ways. Wait, what color is this? Cream? Oh no, that looks gray and I do not want gray. <laughs> Better color over here. So here we have our colors. Hopefully that'll go with this idea here. So let's get started. Now for the fun part. Okay, my hand is covering up. Let me try to move this over here. We have kind of a time warp going on right now. My battery went dead. I'm not gonna wait for my battery to charge. I need to get two batteries is probably what I actually need to do. Getting this figured out as we go along. I've decided this video will be far from perfect, but you know. One thing I did learn that I was doing a little bit wrong was when I would paint watercolor, I would end up just like painting the entire thing, but it's really nice to leave like white spaces where there's like no paint. We're definitely gonna have to time lapse some of this because it takes a while. Okay, so I'm adding a little bit of this green color kind of like softens the brightness of the colors, tones it down a bit. So my problem is my, my paintings alter not like super bright colors because I basically just paint like what they come in. So if it's, for example, whoa, <laughs> if it's this green, wait, I don't even know if you can see that. Oh no, my battery light's flashing again. I'm gonna have to go charge my battery again. No. So like I was saying, if like it's, it comes in this green, that's the green that's gonna be on the paper. Like I said before, I need to work on my color mixing stuff. So. Anyways, I better go charge the battery and when I come back, this one will probably be done here. And now since we got jellyfish painted, I'm gonna go ahead and cut them out. Now I'm worried I'm gonna like ruin it. This is kind of thick paper, so we'll see how it cuts. I'm just gonna go right in here. I feel like I'm destroying this whole thing now. Okay, so here's this part. Now for the bottom half of it. Okay, so since this is probably gonna be taking a while, I'm just gonna finish cutting uh, these lovely things out and then we'll move on to the next step. All right, let me turn off the camera. I got these ones cut out. I'm already liking how it looks. I have to say that this paper is a heavy duty paper and yeah, it's like, well, these are good scissors, but it hurts my hand cutting out this. It's like cutting cardboard, maybe not quite that bad. It's kind of nice, like um, bigger, um, I'm saying I'm a lot. Yeah, that is a problem of mine. Bigger pieces of paper, you can use like less detail. Part in this weird lighting here. The sun's starting to come through the window. I think what this just needs is a very dark blue background. I kind of like these two blues. I think I'm gonna kind of maybe mix these two a little bit together. I'm gonna get a really big brush. I'm not even sure if these are made for watercolor, but I'm just gonna try them. Gotta open this one up. Stab with the scissors. This is always like the scariest part, pure white paper. This is a lot harder than I thought. It's like kind of streaky. I don't know if you can see it here. But I thought, well, we'll just go with that. It can be like the ocean current in the way the light comes through. And this is using also a lot more paint than I thought it would. Okay, I think we're gonna call that good. We're gonna just add these on. I'm gonna use this foamy tape stuff, glue sticks and some regular glue to stick this part down with. So these glue sticks actually didn't work. I actually used this tape runner and that stuck the rest of those little things down. Now I'm just going to paint some more of these little things in here. And um, yeah. So these are now some of the final touches I've been adding to this whole thing. I went in with some purple pencils, colored a little bit of that in. I took this really pretty purple to kind of give this effect here. So we're moving on to one of the last steps now. I'm going to take a marker and draw in the long things. I'm just taking some purple marker and adding it where I added the purple paint along here. Make it look a little more ruffly. Time for the fun part. I'm just gonna like sprinkle them out and then like arrange them how I want them. Um, yeah, I think I like that. It's gonna be a lot of work to glue all, all down. Whenever you use a, gl a glue gun, you always get all these like strings of glue everywhere. It's like a spider web. 
Uh, my extension cord doesn't go far enough on my glue gun. Okay, I think they're all glued down. I'm gonna shake it. Uh oh, no, they're not. <laughs> are you ready to? <laughs> are you ready to see the finished product? It is. I'm gonna call it done. It's just lovely. Okay, so here it is. Let's see if I can get a. I can get it to focus. There we go. Um, the little glass beads. You have the jellyfish. These little glass pieces. Add kind of like a sparkle to it. We used markers, paint. And we use these fabulous little things here. Put it all together and I had so much fun doing this. Um, I hope you enjoyed watching this. I hope you were inspired to go make something. I've always wanted to make videos and so I decided, you know what? I'm just gonna start. There, I, there's a lot of work to be done on these, but you know what, gotta start somewhere. That is it for this video. I hope you learned a little something. Until next video, have fun making things. Don't ever forget how special you are and bye for now.